For the first time in 25 years, a named storm didn't develop in the ocean in August. And according to AAA, that's played a big role in why gas prices keep falling. 12 News reporter Erica Ritchie live at a gas station right now where it's uh, getting busy this morning and has more on this story. Yeah, Pat, good morning to you. We're starting to see folks fi file in here to this uh, neon gas station in Seekonk. Take a look, folks just pulling up this morning as their morning commute is getting underway. And why not? They feel like they're getting a bargain with the gas prices they're looking at today. Don't forget, we are backing down from prices that just two to three months ago were hovering around that $5 mark. So today the national average is $3.75, and that's why they feel like they're getting a bargain here. In Massachusetts, it's finally dropped below $4 a gallon, which was the average just a week ago. Now we're looking at 387 for the state average in Rhode Island. A gallon of regular will cost about 10 cents less than that. AAA says lower oil prices, modest demand and a quiet hurricane season are all coming together to drive pump prices lower. But the car experts do say we're not out of the woods yet as September still has the potential to pack a punch when it comes to storm activity. You've already heard Michelle talking about some of those storms that are forming in the tropics, so we'll keep an eye on those and those storms can affect gas prices because they have the potential to disrupt oil production and refining. All right, so as we come back live now, take a look here at this neon station, 355. Remember I said the average price in Massachusetts right now, 387. So we are well below that here. But keep in mind, we are still about 80 cents higher statewide than we were one year ago at this time. That's the latest live in Seekonk this morning. Erica Ritchie, 12 News.